Ma Som Chimrap Su, Sahteng Lai Ne East School, Cambodia. I'd like to welcome all of the East School Cambodia students to our class today. My name is Charles McCall. Charles McCall. You can call me Teacher Charles if you want, or you can call me the American way, Mr. McCall. And this is the first lesson in Unit 1 in New Interchange Book 1. And we're going to be studying on page 2. I'd like to welcome all of the students who will be studying with me during uh, book number 1. New Interchange is American English. I speak American very clearly and I can help you speak American English very clearly as well. And so we will be learning and studying about reading and writing, speaking, listening, grammar. There are many conversations and I invite you to chat with me. I will give you homework, in fact, and you must chat with me. That will be your homework during this course. And so I'd like to invite you to download the book. It is essential. Jump back. So rest some kind at min to have the book. You need the book. And so this is an example. This book has been downloaded. East School Cambodia gives you the book for free. You can download it to your phone. You can download it to your computer. Take it to a photocopy shop and they will print it for you for less than 10,000 real. You must have the book to follow along. You write in the book and you uh, will have to read from it. You're, you can't do it on your phone. <laughs> and so really, please, today, this week, before the next lesson, please download the free book and get it printed so that you can follow along. The other thing I would really recommend that you study in groups that if you can get two or three friends you can all study at the same time the same place the same day you meet at the same place and you study as a group it will be very helpful for you because there are many conversations in new interchange and it will be the opportunity for you to have a conversation with me but also you can have a conversation with one another and so again I'm excited my desire is to help you succeed. I sick de black notch on bond of my look crew. Go I all let all of them on my own. Bond choche, Nakanang Kasik Sapi song lay. But I bond choche, Nakanang Chivit thing mo. I piss on lay chi upka moi. Dumb by chu yin chi tun tin moi. Dumb by chu yin ban choche, ban kang il all. Hai lo kru mi in chet. Dumb by chu yi all on a bump on. Dumb by loun nakam rot moi tamai kanam piso angle. So let's look at page number two, unit one. Page number two. And there is a, a picture there. And so what do you see? in the picture. What do you see? I see a man and a woman. I see three men, or three women and one woman. The man and the woman are smiling. The man and the woman are talking to each other. The man and the woman are shaking hands. Oh, I see two men and three women. I'm sorry, my page was not clear. Two men, three women. And so the men and women, they have, we call it a name tag. Gave me a gachmoa, gave me a name tag on their clothes. They have a name tag on their clothes. And can you see the name of the man and the woman? One, the man, his name is Charles. And the woman, 
Her name is Elizabeth. So Charles and Elizabeth. Where are they? Are they at the office? Are they at a park? Where do you think they are? It looks like they're at a party because I see food, I see flowers, I see something to drink. And so I think they're at a party. So the three women and two men are at a party. They seem to be happy, right? Okay. Well, let's read. Let's read the conversation on page two. Okay, so I will read it, and then you listen to me. I will read it three times. So listen to me clearly. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Mandel. Hi, my name is Charles Chang. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Chuck. Nice to meet you, Chuck. You can call me Liz. Okay, and what's your last name again? Mandel. Okay, Marong Tiet. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Mandel. Hi, my name is Charles Chang. But please call me Chuck. Nice to meet you, Chuck. You can call me Liz. Oh, and what's your last name? Mandel. Okay, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to read it again, but this time you say it after me and say it according to my intonation. Intonation, I-N-T-O-N-A, T-I-O-N, intonation means some lang lang cho. And so follow my intonation. You say it after me. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Mandel. Hi, my name's Charles Chang. But please call me Chuck. Nice to meet you, Chuck. You can call me Liz. Okay. And what's your last name again? Mandel. Okay, so Malangtia some the Yetam Lokru. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Mandel. Hi, my name's Charles Chang, but please call me Chuck. Nice to meet you, Chuck. You can call me Liz. Okay, and what's your last name again? Mandel. Okay, let's just look at some vocabulary. First of all, hello and hi. In English and in Khmer, Pisa Khmer, we have formal language and informal language. Formal language is when we speak to someone we respect, we speak to someone that has authority, and so, yung apraapiet sa mainte, yung apraapiet da sang, samrat malutom, samrat net da yung chang pagdokit to you, aike. Mantay samrat matper ba yung yung apraapiet pamada. So formal, when we introduce ourselves formally, we say hello. But when we're talking to our friends or someone we know well, we say hi. My name is, but you can call me this. My name is Richard, but you can call me Dick. Okay? This is what we call uh, a nickname. A nickname is a name that people give us or we give ourselves that's different from our own name. A nickname sometimes is associated with our given name, our first name, or our last name. 
Uh, sometimes it is associated with a characteristic about us. And so we call them nicknames. My name is Charles, but my nickname is Chuck. But I like Charles, so please call me Charles. But almost every name in English has a nickname. And I know it's the same in Khmer, that Cambodians have many nicknames as well. By the way, please send me a chat and tell me your name and say, my name is, but you can call me if you have a nickname, tell me your nickname. So that's one homework for you. Send me a chat. Hello teacher, my name is, but you can call me if it's a different name, then you tell me the different name. And so there are many nicknames and you're going to see on your screen a few of them. For example, I told you already, Charles, the nickname is Chuck. Daniel, the nickname is Dan. Amelia, the nickname is Amy. James, the nickname is Jim. Catherine, the nickname is Kathy. Andrew, the nickname is Andre, Andy. And so you'll see that many nicknames are just the short form of the full name. But there are also nicknames that people put on themselves or other people put on us that have to do with our character. They have to do with an experience that we had in our life. Or we have to do, it has to do with our appearance, shorty or big man, something like that. And so look at some other interesting nicknames. Moonshine, Hollywood, Drama Queen, Sweet Tea, Lefty, or Red, and so we have nicknames, and so in our story, the nickname for Charles is Chuck, and the nickname for Elizabeth is Liz. I want to also mention about American English, and the names we use are different from Asia. And so in Asia, the last name is first, but in American and Europe, in America and Canada and Europe, the first name is first and the last name is last. And so many Europeans and Americans and Canadians, we have three names. First name, which in British English they say given name. Last name, in British English they say family name or surname. And then we have our middle name. And so the full name is the first, middle, and last name. For example, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. John is the first name, Fitzgerald is the middle name, and Kennedy is the last name. And so here are some examples of a full name. Charles McCall, Mr. McCall. Michael Parker, Mr. Parker. Jack Richards, Mr. Richards. Donald Trump, Mr. Trump, or President Trump. Jennifer Yang, Miss Yang, or Ms. Yang, or Mrs. Yang. Emily Dickinson, Miss Dickinson, Ms. Dickinson or Mrs. Dickinson, according to the situation. And so, uh, another thing I'd like to mention, in American English, we, we never, we never say, hello, Mr. Charles, hello, Mr. Richard. We never say Mr. and the first name. We always say Mr. 
and the last name. Hello, Mr. McCall. Hello, Mrs. Smith. You can say this at East School Cambodia to me because this is the Cambodian way. This is the Asian way. It's okay. But when you're meeting other people, when you're meeting other Americans, Canadians, Europeans, usually the formal way to greet them is to say, hello, nice to meet you, Mr. McCall. Nice to see you face to face, Mr. McCall. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Smith. And so that is the formal way of greeting one another. And so let's look at this, the conversation again. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Mandel. Hi, my name is Charles Chang, but please call me Chuck. Nice to meet you, Chuck. You can call me Liz. Okay, and what's your last name again? Mandel. So Chuck last name and so he said uh, excuse me and what's your last name again can you say that after me excuse me what's your last name again excuse me what's your first name again say this after me last Last. L-A-S-T. Last. Throw loose some lang T. Chunk rhyme on pot. Man man last. Last. Man man she word day. If you do not say, if you do not pronounce the final T, D, S, G, you will not be understood. It's really, really important. In Khmer, Piasa Khmer, Tomada Yang Atni Ye, Natha Aksash and Krama Pate. But we are snap. Junka no American eye. But I know Piasa Ang Lay, by American, by Ang Lay, which backs them up Yang Lu Chuba. On P, some lane chunk Krama Pate, Piat Nimui, which bat, by Atman Lu, Admin Klamsa, at you. Slap at dawn. And so say last, last, L, L, A, A, S, T, T, L, A, S, T, last, first, F, I, R, S, T, F, I, R, R, S, T, first, first. Say it after me. Last, first. Last name, first name. Excuse me, what's your last name again? Excuse me, what's your first name again? So that's the first lesson in new interchange book one lesson number one unit number one and we'll take a rest now and then we'll move on to the next lesson also on page two thank you so very much see you later